I live to be 10,000, and I shall. I shall never forget the sound of the air raid siren. Whenever you heard that dreadful noise, you dropped whatever you were doing and headed for the nearest shelter. <laughs> I'd been a dead around uh, 300 years, and I don't mind admitting I was pretty scared. But it seems that the more frightened we Londoners were, the louder we sang. Marty! It's early if you don't have to be back at the base at five in the morning. Oh, don't go. She'll show up any minute. I'll do nothing. She's a great girl. To be honest with you, as you have probably noticed, I'm a lousy singer. I've been sitting here so long, I'm dead from the waist down. And let's face it, so she may be a great girl, but the chances of our hitting it off are one in a million anyway. I think before I wreck everybody's evening, I better take off and get a few hours sleep on the train. So what am I going to do with two girls? You'll think of something. <laughs> Believe that? Good night, sir. Would you give my apologies, lady? Mm -hmm. 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 Oh, you're not a soft mailbox. You're a hard lady. What makes you think so? Well, the uh, last mailbox I passed didn't slap me. Why are you so interested in mailboxes? Well, to tell you the truth, I was hoping sooner or later to meet one that would direct me to Waterloo Station. Oh, well, on your present course, you'd be more likely to end up in the River Thames. Do you know, I thought I was in the River Thames. This is the worst fog I've ever seen. You can't see anything. Oh, and I, had, oh there you are. There's one consolation. Neither can the German bombers. Well, yes, you're right about that. How long will this last, anyway? Oh, it's hard to tell. With a real peace super, it could be hours. Oh, no! Well, I'll, uh, how am I going to get to Waterloo Station? You know, I'll miss my train. I have to be in Portsmouth at 0500. You have to get back to your ship? How'd you do that? Well, you're obviously American, and uh, Portsmouth is a naval base. And 0500 is hardly the time to go sightseeing. <laughs> unless, of course, you're a clever German spy. Don't be ridiculous. My name is Philly Jones. I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, U.S. of A. Nice to meet you, Willie. Uh, now you will give me your name, Fraulein. I'm Fred Smith. I'm a policeman, and you're under arrest. <laughs> you could have fooled me. You don't even feel like a policeman. Well, I'm uh, wearing one of our better disguises. Is that so? Boy, if that's a disguise, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. <laughs> I'll take it back to the ship and make myself a fortune. <laughs> hey, the fog's lifting a little. Hey, you are a cop, aren't you? No, you're not. That's a uniform. You're a wren, a shipmate. Oh, well, I hate to disappoint you, Willie, but uh, I've been in the Navy two years, and I haven't been within a hundred yards of a ship. Well, it's okay, Fred. I've been on a ship for two years, and I've never been within a hundred yards of a beautiful wren. <laughs> say, listen, Fred, what we've got to do is forget about the past and concentrate on the present. As I always say, a bird in the hands is worth two in the bull and bush. <laughs> Is that what you always say? Well, uh, yeah, nearly always. <laughs> Given time, I can come up with things really pretty bad. Would you uh, give me some time? I'd love to, but uh, I have a date. Oh. Well, as I also always say, if at first you don't succeed, quit. <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't think that's a very good saying. Yeah, it isn't. I wish I could think of a better one. <laughs> well, uh, how about may I phone you the next time I'm in London? Now, that's what I call a saying. Yeah, may I phone you the next time I'm in London? You certainly may. I uh, work at the Admiralty. Second officer, Emma Jeffries. Emma Jeffries. Emma, I'm uh, being transferred to the Pacific. I may not be able to phone for a month or two. Do you like to get letters? Love to. Well, if you get one from a Lieutenant Commander Richard Browning, would you answer it? I'm sure I would. Now, if you uh, go straight down there and turn right at the end, you'll come to Waterloo Bridge, and the station's just across the other side of it. It's still pretty foggy, Fred. Wouldn't you like to show me the way? Well, I'd love to, but I don't think it would be fair to my date. Well, what about being fair to me? Well, phone me and I will be. I like your style, Fred. I'll phone. I'm glad. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Good luck. I'm sorry I'm late. I got stuck in the fog. Look! 
It's terrible out there. Dick couldn't wait. He said to apologize. Oh, what a shame. Can I get you a drink? Yes, please. I'll have a small gin and lime. 